So guys, today I'm pretty excited to be talking about my pill bottle survival kit. Now this one took me quite some time to make up and it took quite a, it was a collaborative effort. You know, I got some help with this one and it actually ended up being narrowed down to just two really important pieces. And so that's why I'm so excited to share this one. This is probably my smallest survival kit ever and it's packed with awesomeness. So let's get into Start this. Start off, like I said, this only has two pieces to it, but I think the most important piece is this piece right here the first piece and of course this is all friction fit in here really nice I tried to do this really well and design it really awesome and so this first piece in here I'm gonna close this is this awesome priorities of survival by Bear Grylls this thing is the pocket guide it is so cool uh, I mean like this is just awesome it's like I got to get both my gloves off just so I can properly open this for you guys I mean it has like fire in here you know this is like plastic you guys can't even see it but there are words on this white piece of paper and you know it is plastic paper so you know it's not going to get damaged by wetness um, what's also really awesome is if you guys can see these little white tick marks at the bottom like it has this center centimeter ruler on the bottom here which is really of no use to me because I'm like in an imperial country so I don't really know how to use centimeters but still really cool and you know it goes over fire it goes over signaling which I mean I probably don't have any of that because I just have like this and one other thing in the pill bottle but it's still really cool I just really love this Bear Grylls pocket or survival priorities pocket guide like i mean it's just so cool it's really hard to find those things nowadays so the second piece and you know i, I said this was my first most important thing but are my favorite but it, I, these are probably actually equal in all reality and so the second one is uh, this pill bottle has another pill bottle in it and i just put a pill bottle full of Advil in this pill bottle survival kit because I was sitting there and I was thinking I was like you know what makes a pill bottle survival kit even cooler having two pill bottles inside your pill bottle survival kit and then what's even better than that a pill bottle full of Advil and I was just like man this is so cool I know Bear Grylls would be so proud of this in fact if you guys could like share this video with uh, Bear Grylls that'd be really cool so anyways guys that is my look at my pill bottle survival kit i hope you guys really liked it don't forget to comment like share subscribe and tell me what your thoughts are on this pill bottle survival kit and i really like that little joke there about that funny pill bottle survival kit i was just looking at some stuff i had and i was like this is gonna be hilarious to show you guys but now getting into my real bottle survival kit and uh, our real pill bottle survival kit and first starting on the outside i wanted to do or i wanted to just throw this little infant essentially paracord bracelet on here here. And if you guys want to see more awesome paracord gear, go check out the link in the description below to my company. We make a lot of awesome gear like this. So now getting into the uh, bottle, or before we actually get inside of it, talking about this bottle. This is, you guys probably will notice here, is like a newer type of pill bottle. And I really liked this pill bottle design in particular because it has this little area up here that I believe it's actually for pill bottle survival kits just kidding i think it's so that they can stack the caps and like lock these caps together at the pill places but anyways regardless to what they use it for there's this little extra area of storage up there and so i tried to take as best advantage of that as i possibly could but i really liked that whole fact with the cap going on so i definitely wanted to use one of these uh, pill bottles in particular so without any further ado let's actually get into it so this one like i said it's a little bit loaded because i was taking advantage of cap space so the first thing that you'll notice in here is a piece of chaga and this is a pretty small piece i probably could have put something slightly larger in there but that's what would fit easily and so i just threw that in there the next part is a wet fire ust wet fire in here and it's really awesome it fit very well in here so i decided to throw that in there because it would fit very well the next piece is a small button compass and this fit quite well once again so I decided to chuck this in there as well. Um, I really like having just a small compass, you know it's a very basic compass for this. And then the next thing I put in here, if I can get it out here, is a sail needle. 
and I really, or the reason why I chose a sail needle, and I chose this sail needle in particular because it actually has a wide eye to it, and I really like having a wide eye so that you can use more readily uh, different natural cordages around you without having to process them down further or possibly weaken them. And I like the sail needle because it's a very thick industrial needle. They're actually meant to repair sails or canvas, so I thought that was a really good fit in here. So now some other things, uh, let's see what will come out of here reasonably easy. So I have a small surgical blade uh, for any cutlery and uh, that's really awesome. That fit of course really nicely in there. I have a couple band-aids, if I can get them out here without making too big of a mess. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make a mess here. There we go. So I have two band-aids in here kind of shoved in there as you could see. And those are full-size band-aids. And then next I have some snare wire. And I have a few things of snare wire, just a few little pieces of snare wire, like essentially little coils. But I'll get to those when I can. And then next I have, and if you guys are familiar with the phone case survival kit, this is the same thing or same principle here. It's just a small plastic bag wrapped with a... Uh, rubber band and on the inside, the very inside of the plastic bag is a ferro rod and that's a ferro rod from the uh, Exotac Nano Striker XL. So in addition to that, so in addition to that, uh, <laughs> I have some fishing hooks and these are double barbed fishing hooks and I have some of different sizes. These two are of a kind of smaller medium size, I can move them around. And so that's what those two look like. Uh, and of course, all the open, like all these open fish hooks are double barbed. So they're pretty good and I think would actually really catch some fish. I have three safety pins. I have two, by the way, larger uh, fishing hooks in here if I can get them all out. So just for the rest of it, a larger piece of sand colored uh, snare, or not snare wire, but trip wire. I apologize if I called that snare wire earlier. And then I have another piece of olive drab snare wire. And then I have two split shot lead sinkers. And if this one doesn't want to roll away. And I have two larger uh, double barbed fishing hooks here. As well on the inside of this, if you guys are familiar with, I forget what case or what survival thing I first debuted this in, but I think it was the knife one. Yeah, it was the knife survival kit. Uh, if you were familiar with that video, you'll be familiar with this. And this is essentially, there's a small piece of paracord in there made for making a makeshift fly out of paracord. There's some monofilament line. And then of course wrapped in a rubber band and cotton uh, cloth and there's also a couple hooks in there but they are not double barbed so that kind of sucks but anyways that is it for my uh, real actual uh, pill case bottle survival kit hopefully you guys appreciated a little bit of comedy here I thought I would just throw that in there because like I said I thought it was hilarious but uh, this is the real kit of course and don't forget to comment like share subscribe and let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this case and if you guys have thought of anything else and as always hopefully this has inspired you guys to do some kind of survival kit of your own and that's it for now I'm out